because I have not made a video in a while it feels like and it's mostly because I started a new position at work I'm back in college I've just been busy 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 and today I have the day off and I'm literally doing nothing so why not make a video of Funkos yeah so my first video on this channel was my Funko Pop collection and at the time I had about 80 Funko Pops and that was five months ago so five months later here we are again and now I'm up to 210 Funko Pops so I figured we'll go through a whole room tour because I have a whole room for my Funkos I'm going to just show you the whole room I actually have it organized for once they're somewhat in order so let's get started guys so we're going to start walking into the room of course we have the Funkos all on these walls and then we have some artwork on the walls as well more Funko Pops, um, some boxes, more boxes, a dresser that nobody uses, a pirate ship that I built, some more, and some drawers. So this is the first big glance at the room. So I will start with all the artwork on the walls. This right here is from the D23 Expo. If you went this year, you're a D23 member, you got this gift, and it is all the Disney Legends. And like a cool little drawing. And then in the Disney treasure box for October, we got a trick or treat bag with zero on it from the Nightmare Before Christmas, and he actually closed in the dark. Also from D23 is this bag. It was July 14th, July 16th. And I just love I just love the expo, so I just decided to hang the bag up. <laughs> And then right here we have a movie poster from Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. Um, the day it came out I went to the movie theater and they were just giving these to us and I just thought it was really pretty artwork so I had it framed. There's a bigger glance at it. And then as I've said before on these vlogs I collect postcards. So these are just some Disney postcards I have on here. This one is mostly Snow White and Pinocchio and a couple other movies. I just think they're really gorgeous. They're up. Pinocchio. Sorry about that glare, guys. There we go. Snow White, Snow White. So just a big frame. Sorry about that glare again, guys. And then I got these records at the D23 Expo as well. This is the Pirates of the Caribbean one, because that's my favorite ride and my favorite Disney series. And then up here we have Toy Story, which is my other favorite movie. And then these postcards I just got when I went to Disney, so that's why they're in a separate frame. We have this Disney one. We have the um, America, Pirates of the Caribbean, Disneyland, Pixar, Pinocchio, Princess Dresses. And dogs. Then, if we go to here, I got this at Box Lunch, and it is a Pizza Planet sign because I love Toy Story and Pizza Planet is awesome. So I have this cute little sign up here. Right up here is my pirate ship that I built. I put it up here because I just didn't want to get ruined. This was like the best spot I can find. There's Jack and Karina and um, Henry, Shark people and then Captain Salazar so this is the pirate ship and it's just gonna hang out in here <laughs> till I find a better spot this area of Funkos is like the weird sized ones in my dorbs because they're just not like the normal regular Funko pop size so they go over here and this is actually a Hikari I got this at box lunch and it's Jack Skellington it's blue and it is made by Funko. I'm pretty, yeah, it's made by Funko. I don't know, I'm confused. But yeah, and this one's a box lunch exclusive and limited edition 250 pieces. And then this is from the Disney Treasures box. This is the Pirates of the Caribbean Dorbs ride, which is my favorite ride. And then this is another Disney Treasures box. And this is a Small World, which is an okay ride, but I just think it's cute. If you guys have not heard of Disney Treasures, it is a Disney subscription box that happens um, every other month. You can subscribe to it and it'll give you a whole bunch of Disney Funko stuff. So I think it's really cool. They've been having some really good boxes. 
So if you're a big Disney fan and you like Funko, Disney Treasures, I recommend it. And then right here is just adorbs. Um, I'm not too big in adorbs. Of course, there's adorbs rides, but those I get in my Disney Treasures box. But I just think he is the cutest thing in the world. Looney Tunes was a big, big part of my life when I was younger. And I just thought Daffy Duck was really cute. And it even has a little sign that says rabbit season. So I just have a little adorbs of him. And then we have Pete's Dragon, and he's a large, large one. And then I have another Disney Treasures. This is Dumbo with Timothy. And then I bought this from some girl, and it is a Fugitive, to Fugitive Toys exclusive, and it's Steamboat Willie. And then we have a 2017 fall exclusive, um, what are these? Rock candy. I love Luna Lovegood so much, so the only rock candies I do have are just of Luna. So this is her in her lion hat. And then here's another rock candy of Luna Lovegood, and it's just in her normal little outfit. And then right here we have the Target exclusive 40th Star Wars Darth Vader with the TIE Fighter. I am not a big Star Wars person, but I thought this one was really neat, and I thought he looked cute in a little TIE Fighter. So I just got it because I feel like everyone should have a Star Wars Funko Pop. So this is my Darth Vader one. And then this is a Darth Vader, uh, not Darth Vader. <laughs> Funko Pop keychain. Um, I've been recently got I recently got really into Stranger Things, and I saw this at Hot Topic, and it was cute. It's a little Eleven with her wig and her egos, and it's a Hot Topic exclusive. And then this is a mystery mini of Jack Torrance because I love The Shining, and he just chills. He just chills with Eleven, killing people. Here is another Dorbs. This one came with the Disney Treasures box, um, and it's just Cruella Deville. And then I have Stitch and Scrump and Angel from um, uh, Lilo and Stitch. And this is a Hot Topic exclusive. Another Hot Topic exclusive was Lady and the Tramp. And then the last one up over here is this Mickey Mini that I got at Denver Comic Con. And it's still like, it's like plastic wrap, which I think is kind of neat. And there are the minis. So if you compare them to like these, it's a miniature. They're mini ones. Get it? Mini. Uh -huh. Mini. Yeah, no. Okay. These are my other mystery minis. These came in the Disney Treasures box, so you could only get them if you got the box. And so we have Jiminy Cricket, we have Woody, we have Jack Sparrow, and then we have the Hatbox Ghost. And then they come in these really gorgeous tins. And on this shelf, these are like my favorites and like the most important ones to me. So let's get started. So right up here, um, up here is where I keep my horror ones as well. So I have Hannibal Lecter, Gizmo, and then I have almost all the Pennywises except for the Chase version because I'm not a, for one, he's hard to find, and two, I just don't really care if I don't have him. So this is the original Pennywise, um, Pennywise with a boat, Hot Topic exclusive Pennywise, and he is holding a balloon. You guys can kind of see it. This is the Walmart exclusive Pennywise with his wig. And then this is the FYE Pennywise. So those are all the Pennywises. And then we have Ghostface from Scream. We have Billy. And we have Annabelle. Oops. It's okay, guys. <laughs> and then we have the Box Lunch exclusive. And it's a two-pack of Freddy Krueger and Jason... Jason. And then right here, um, my favorite character in American Horror Story Freak Show was Twisty the Clown. So here is Twisty. And he is a Funko 2015 Summer Convention exclusive. So there's Twisty and he's without his mask on. And then over here, like I said, these are like my favorite ones and my most important ones. So Big Bang Theory is my favorite show and I have Howard Wallowitz and his wife Bernadette Wallowitz. So I have these two. And then I have two um, Disney Parks Disney Parks exclusives. You gotta get these in the park, but I live in Colorado, so I'm not near the parks, so I actually bought them from people. And so the one I have is the Matterhorn, and um, this was my first thrill ride when I was younger, and I it just means a lot to me. And then, like I said, Pirates of the Caribbean is my favorite ride. So I have the Jolly Roger Pirates of the Caribbean Disney Parks exclusive. And then if you guys have not noticed, Buzz Lightyear is my favorite character in the world. So I have the 20th um, Toy Story 20th Anniversary Buzz Lightyear. And then I have the original series 
um, Series 1 Buzz Lightyear as well. And then over here are my Chases. And Chases, if you guys are not big into Funko collecting, Chases are the limited editions that are um, slightly different or different from the common version and they're hard to find and some of them can be worth a lot. So the chases that I have are just personally the ones that, from the movies that I really like. So like I said, I love The Shining. So I have the Frozen Jack Torrance chase. I got this from my friend Jay, he sold it to me. And then I have the limited edition chase Captain Salazar and I got him from the D23 Expo. And then I just got the limited edition chase um, dopey and the difference between him is he's wearing he's not wearing his hat and he has a kiss on his head you, can, you can't really see it very well, but that's the difference between the original one that I'll show you guys later and Then um, I have the limited the chase version of Aurora and she is in her blue dress instead of her normal pink dress and Then I have the chase Maleficent now the difference between this Maleficent and the other Maleficent you guys will see this one glows in the dark so the flames behind her glow, which is pretty cool, I think. And then up here, we have the Grady twins. These ones recently, if you're into Funko, Club, Funko Pop collecting, you know these ones are hard to find at the moment. And luckily I found a guy who was so nice and decided to sell it to me for retail. So I have the Grady twins. So now I have every single one from the Shining. And the other Shining ones are over on the other side of the room. And then right here, I just decided to keep my Disney treasure ones together besides the non-fitting ones. So I have Smee, Pluto, and Tinkerbell. And then I have a giant crush on the governor from Walking Dead. So I have Walking Dead Fugitive Toys exclusive and he's just a bloody version of, of the governor. And that is my, sh my desk horror favorites wall thing. So right next to all these guys are my Harry Potter Funko Pops. And I have the Weasley twins on the ground. They were standing up, they weren't laying down like that. But um, these are in protective cases because my gracious friend Mike got them signed for me. So this one says, to Lori, all the best, Oliver Phelps. And then to Lori, mischief manage, James Phelps. So he was super nice and went to Comic Con because I wasn't able to go and got them signed for me. So thank you, Mike, for signing them for me. And thank you to the actors for signing them for me as well. And then here is the rest of them. We have Hagrid right here. As you can tell, Hagrid is much bigger than a normal size pop because he is part giant. And then we have Harry Potter, the first ever Harry Potter, Luna Lovegood, Dobby, the Dementor, Dolores Umbridge, Harry and Ron Weasley. With these two, um, they are Hot Topic exclusives because they're wearing the sweaters that Molly Weasley made for them. We have Neville Longbottom, and I think he's cute because he has his little toad that he always loses. And we have Lucius Malfoy, and he is the Hot Topic exclusive because he is wearing the Death Eater mask. We have another Harry Potter, this is him. Um, I can never remember what this little ball is called. But it's a little ball with like memories and stuff in it. I just don't remember what it's called. Put it in the comments if you guys remember what it's called because I cannot remember right now. We have Mad-Eye Mooney and then we have Bellatrix Lestrange and this is when she's in her Azkaban clothes. So she's the Hot Topic exclusive version. And then we have the 2017 Summer Convention exclusive and this is Harry Potter when he's catching the snitch and he's on his broom. We have Draco Malfoy. We have uh, Miss McGonagall, and then we have the regular Bellatrix, and she's just in her normal clothes. And I was so excited that they made these ones. These are the Remus Lupin ones, and I love Mr. I love Professor Lupin. He's one of my favorites. So this is him normally, and then here's him, the Hot Topic exclusive, which is when he turns into his wolf. And then we have the box lunch exclusive Harry Potter, and this is the one where. Sirius Black sends him a feather from the Griffin, not Griffin, Buckbeak. So when uh, Sirius Black sends a feather to Harry Potter with Buckbeak's feather and sends him a new broom, this is the box lunch exclusive one. And then this is the 2017, 2017 summer convention exclusive, and that's Luna Lovegood and her dorky little outfit. We have another Luna Lovegood with her little head with her 
lion head, which I think is so cute. We have Peter Pettigrew, and then we have Ron Weasley, and he's holding um, the rat, which Peter Pettigrew is. So those are next to each other. And then I freaking am in love. This is my favorite Harry Potter one. This is the 2017 Fall Convention exclusive. It is Snape, but this is the bug art Snape. So in the movie, they had to think of the thing that terrifies them the most, and the bug art will take its shape, and then think of something funny. So Neville thought of Snape, because he's scared of Snape, and then he thought of him in his grand's um, outfit. And it's so awesome! I can't believe they made that one. And then we have Hermione, and this is actually the only Hermione I have for some odd reason, and she's with the Time Turner necklace. And then we have Harry Potter with the, ma ma I pronounced this wrong, Martyr's Map, Martyr's Map. And, yeah, and his little PJs. So these are all my Harry Potter ones. So we will start down here, and this is uh, Behemoth, Behemoth, however you pronounce his name, and he glows in the dark, and he's a Walgreens exclusive. Then we have the Hot Topic exclusive, the Boogie with Bugs. And as you can see, there's bugs inside on him. And then we have the Day of the Dead, Jack Skellington. And then we have Maleficent, um, Hot Topic exclusive, the one with flames, but she does not glow in the dark. I have the Maleficent dragon as well that came in the Disney Treasures box, but that one's upstairs. It's not down here. And then I have Scrooge McDuck, Scrooge McDuck, 2017 Fall Convention exclusive with all the money. And then I have Louie, Dewey, and Huey. I've never really seen DuckTales, but there was this um, Christmas... V, um, VHS tape that I used to watch all the time and these characters were in it and I loved it. I thought it was like one of my favorite Christmas movies. And then we have the Pumpkin King from Nightmare Before Christmas. Nightshade Sally, she's holding the nightshade and she has her cat. We have Gaston and then we have the Hot Topic exclusive Queen of Hearts and she has the flamingo and then she has her little gerbil thing and she's playing croquet. And then um, these are the princesses. So I have Rapunzel, Tiana, and Mulan. And I think this Mulan is like the prettiest thing I've ever seen in my life. She is gorgeous. She's a geisha version. And then I have almost all the Beauty and the Beasts. I have Cogsworth. I have Lumiere. I have Beast. I have the Hot Topic exclusive because he's flocked. So he's all fuzzy as you can tell the difference. And then I have Belle. The Walmart exclusive Belle. The Barnes and Noble exclusive bell, the um, Target exclusive bell, and then the Celebration dress bell. The only one that I do not have is the Fye bell, and I don't have Mrs. Potts because I think Mrs. Potts is creepy looking, so I just won't get her because she's just scary. <laughs> and then I have the Snow White's Snow White up here in Dopey. Like I said, um, this Dopey's different. He has his hat, while the other one doesn't. And I do have the rest of the Snow White's on pre-order. I just have not gone to get them yet. So I have Dopey, and then I have the Toys R Us Snow White, and she's in her peasant clothes. And then I have the Diamond um, Celebration exclusive. With these ones, um, I'll show you the other Diamond collections. They're all sparkly. A lot of them do not work out, as I will show you. So this one, the Snow White is cute, but the sparkles in her hair makes her look old. But since it's the 80th anniversary, anniversary of her movie it's okay because she's she's supposed to be old she's over 80 years old <laughs> and see like this one is the diamond ex diamond edition dumbo and these are all hot topic exclusive you can only get the diamond editions at hot topic and they're all disney so this is dumbo um he is the cutest one i think look how cute he is and he's all sparkly and next to him is the worst one so this is ursula she is a hot mess like, a oh, lot. She just does not look good. I see whether they're trying to get to, but it's just not good. And then the bell one is alright. She's pretty cute. She doesn't have much sparkle sparkles like the other one does, but she's still kind of cute. So down here is the Who Framed Roger Rabbit, Judge Doom, Roger Rabbit, and Jessica Rabbit. I have not found the weasel for it yet, so... And then we have the Inside Out. This is Bing Bong's when he's invisible. And I think it's trying to represent when he disappears and she's like, take him to the moon, which is like the saddest moment in the whole movie. Take her to the moon for me. But these are two different Bing Bong's. So he's invisible in this one and he's 
his normal colors in this one. And then we have anger, fear, disgust, sadness, and joy. And then my other Toy Story ones are right here. We have the Box Lunch exclusive, and this is the black and white Woody, which is from Toy Story 2 when he was in the TV show. And then we have regular Woody. And these are all 20th anniversary, by the way, I should mention. So this is all the 20, 20th anniversary of Toy Stories. And then we have Ham, and then we have Rex. And then over here is my Moanas. I have, I think this is a stupid one, how this is an exclusive. So I have two Mauis, and this is a BAM exclusive because of how his hook's facing that way. And I just think that's kind of dumb. But I have both Mauis. I have Moana and Pua. Pua? I think that's how you pronounce it. And I have Young Moana, and then I have Hot Topic exclusive Moana. And then I have Target exclusive Moana. And then up here is my Zootopia ones. They are so cute. Nick Wilde, Al Finnick, Mr. Big, Judy Hopps, and Flash. And then we have Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. This is the only one I have from Winnie the Pooh because I bought him from someone. And look how cute he is. Like, you could not say no to that face. And he's flocked, so he's fuzzy. And then this is the Hot Topic exclusive um, Marie from the Aristocats. And she's fuzzy too. And then we have the Cheshire Cat from Miles Wonderland. He's not fuzzy, but he's kind of creepy looking and cute. <laughs> And then I have the ones from Wally, which is Eve and Wally, of course. Um, up, Doug and regular Doug. And this is like with the beast. This is the flocked version. And then this is the non-flocked version. And then we have Russell and Carl from Up. Hot Topic exclusive Peter Pan. And then we have Vanellope. This is the only one I have from the Rick and Ralph set because my amazing friend Mike, my other friend Mike, not the... Weasley Twins Mike, my other friend Mike, he gave this to me, and it's because I cosplay as Vanellope a lot. I think I've cosplayed her like three or four times. We have Oswald Rabbit, Alfredo Linguini, Emil Remy, and then we have Rafiki with Simba. Like, Rafiki's creepy, but that is cute. You can't tell me that's not cute. And the voice of Rafiki actually just passed away, um, I think a few weeks ago. Then we have Simba when he is I just want to be king um af not afro mane with the leaves Pumba so Pumba means a lot to me because I used to have this amazing Pumba stuffed animal when I was little and I lost him but my mom actually found me the exact same one and then my friend found me this one so it was really nice of them and then we have Nemo from Finding Nemo and Dory I found Nemo I found Dory I'm surprised they didn't make, um, maybe they have, but they didn't make a Marlin one. I haven't seen Marlin. And then, on this big shelf right here is all my Pirates of the Caribbeans. I have all of them but one. So, Captain Salazar, Ghost of Will Turner. This is the Cursed Barbosa 2016 Summer Convention Exclusive. Um, regular Barbosa, Davy Jones, Elizabeth Swan, different Jack Sparrow, different Jack Sparrow, different Jack Sparrow. <laughs> And then the Gold Jack Sparrow Hot Topic exclusive. So those are all my Disney ones. Disney is probably the main thing I collect. Besides um, Big Bang Theory, The Walking Dead is my favorite show. These aren't Funkos, but anytime I find anything that's the governor, I get it. So these are just little governor trinkets. So down here we have Michonne's pet and Michonne's second pet, which is her boyfriend and her brother. And then we have T-Dog. Nobody wanted T-Dog. I mean, I love T-Dog. I'm sad that he died, but this is the 2017 Summer Convention exclusive. This is the only time they made T-Dog. And then we have Negan, which is the new villain in Walking Dead. We have the regular Negan, and then we have the Barnes & Noble exclusive Negan, and that's the bloody version. And then I think this one's really neat. This is the 2017 Fall Convention exclusive Dwight. And he is um, Negan's like right-hand man. And then, as usual, the governor again. And then my favorite walker is the well walker. Everyone has their favorite walker, so this one's my favorite, which is when Gwen goes down on the well at the Herschel farm and tries to get the walker out, but it comes apart and contaminates the water anyway, so it don't matter. He's still gonna contaminate it. So this is, like, my random ones. They're not Disney or Harry Potter, basically. So I just got these ones. These are the Christmassy ones. 
I have Jovi and Buddy the Elf. That is my favorite, favorite Christmas movie. So I have those two so far. I have the Box Lunch exclusive Flocked the Grinch, and he's holding, um, oh, what is it? The Roast Beast? Roast Beast? Roast Beast? Whatever. And then Max. And then I have, this is my, these are my random ones, basically. So I have the Joker and Harley Quinn in their beach outfit. Um, I'm not a big superhero person, but this Joker reminds me of the Jack Nicholson Joker, and that is my favorite Joker. And I just think it's weird that they're just in, like, you know, winter clothes. Not winter clothes, <laughs> beach clothes. So I just got them. And then I have Five Nights at Freddy Cupcake. I've never played Five Nights at Freddy, but he is so cute. Look at him, he even has buck teeth. And then The Labyrinth was my favorite movie when I was little. So I have Jareth, the Hot Topic exclusive Jareth. And then I just thought these were neat. And so my other favorite Batman movie is The Penguin. Is the one with the Penguin Man as Danny DeVito playing the Penguin Man. So this is a penguin and popster. And it's Batman as the Penguin or Penguin as Batman, whichever you want to say. And then Rugrats was a good show in my youth. So I have Reptar, Tommy, and Chucky. And so these are my Stranger Things ones. So I have Barb and Joyce, because Joyce is a little nuthead, and Barb is dead. Rest in, pe rest in peace, Barb! And then I have Eleven with Egos, and then I have Mr. Clark holding the plate, telling you about the acrobat and the, f and the fly, I think? The bug? The acrobat and bug. 2017 Summer Convention Exclusive. Then we have Steve when he's all bloody and helping defeat the Demogorgon. Then I have Hopper in the beaux suit. suits. So this is a Hot Topic exclusive and this is a 2017 Summer ex Convention exclusive. And I have Nancy. Then I have Eleven with Electroids and she's also Fall Convention exclusive. And then I have another Eleven and that's the newer Eleven in the second season. And she actually has hair! She looks like a girl! So crazy! And then this is Rumpel Stiltskin from Once Upon a Time, which I re got really into. So I just realized this, if you watch Once Upon a Time, he's Mr. Gold in his other, in his like, human life. And he's gold, and he's sparkly, and he's just cute. I have the other Once Upon a Times, but they're in my room with my Maleficent dragon as well. So here's the other Shinings. We have Wendy Torrance, we have Danny Torrance, and we have Jack Torrance. And then we have Marvin the Martian from Space Jam. And we have T-Bone. I bought this from a friend at a pop swap. And I just think he's cute, and I thought it was really funny because it's a bowl, and he's holding himself. T bone, ha, ha, ha. And then cat dog. Me and my brother loved this show when we were little. And then Luigi. This is the only one I have from Cars because there's just a funny story about it. I pestered everyone at my work about this guy. I made because I work at Walmart, and he's only at Walmart, so I made everyone look for him. Everyone look for him, and then I finally found him in a return cart, and. So he's just a joke. So every time we say something about Bungle Pops, they're like, we haven't found the yellow car. The yellow car hasn't been found. He's just, he's just a good story. Funny times. So just a few of you guys were curious. These are what the Disney Treasures boxes look like. That's it. Um, these are, I got every month that it came out so far. And these are what they come in. They're really cute. They're like little treasure boxes. Well, guys, that is all my Funko Pops. Like I said, though, I have some in my room. But they're in my room, and my room's a mess, so I'm not going to show you guys. So you guys will just have to live without it. But this is my whole Funko room. I vlog in here. I have my Funko Pops in here. I watch movies in here. It's like my nerdy room. So these are all of them. The only subscription boxes I do is the Disney Treasures one. Um, I get most of my Funko Pops at GameStop. To pre I pre-order them at GameStop. Um, Hot Topic, Box Lunch... Sometimes Target. Target's not the greatest place for Funkos. Same with Walmart. It's not the greatest place either. But if you are just now getting into Funko Pops, I also um, I also shop at Barnes & Noble. But if you're just getting into them, I definitely recommend collecting things that you personally love. Like my first Funko Pop was this Carl right here. He was my first one because the Up's one of my favorites. And I collect mostly Disney because Disney is my life. Disney is everything. Look at this cute shirt though, guys. Look at it. It's Toy Story. And it's little anime buzz. But anyway, so collect what you want. And do not go overboard. Like, just start out small. Don't go too crazy. 
Um, I recommend um, Hot Topic and Barnes & Noble if you guys are just getting into like, collecting. They have a lot too. And also Box Lunch. Um, I'm not sure if every state has them. I know um, I live in Colorado and there's only one Box Lunch. And luckily enough, it's only like 20 minute drive from me. So those are the three main places that are really good for Funko Pop collecting. So yeah, those are the three main. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of all my Funko Pops. I'll give an update when I get a lot more, which will probably be soon because I'm, I'm getting addicted. It's an addiction. It's crazy. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any, any questions about collecting, chases, anything to do with Funko Pops, or just had a cool comment about one of my Funko Pops, please let me know in the comments below. And I will post a link in the bottom of my first Funko Pop video. So if you guys want to see a before and after of my collection, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Share with your friends. Um, get into Funko Pop collecting. Just have fun, guys. Thank you again. Have a good day. Bye.